When you want to take a payment, sometimes you might not have a checkout system or you want to do it nice and quickly. So this is where Stripe payment links can come in. So Stripe payment links, you can basically create a link that you can share with people. So I'm just going to give you this one here as an example. So when they go to this link, they can basically pay what it is that you're asking for. So they can come in here, they'd log in. Um, if I wouldn't have to log in, it's asking me to log in just because I'm already logged in. But basically ask them for the name, their email address, and then it'd ask them for their card details, and then they would go out ahead and check out. I think if I click this, it should show me. <clears throat> like that. There you go. So they show the details, and they would just go ahead, and you would get a notification saying that they've paid, and they'd get sent a receipt. So with payment links, all you need to do is press new when you're on payment links for it to start creating. But just to get to this section, the best way is literally in the search bar here of Stripe, just search payment links and you'll see it come up here. So just go on that and that will bring you to the screen that we're on now. So again, I'm just going to press new at the top right and then it's going to bring up the settings bit here. So in here, you can basically do a subscription or a product. And I like to stress, you cannot do a payment plan as a payment link. So by payment plan, I mean, let's just say you had something about a thousand pound and you wanted to give people the option to pay over four months. So they might pay 250 pound or each month over four months. You cannot do that within a Stripe payment link. You would need something like a checkout system or to do it on a customer per customer basis, um, or something like, you know, like Thrivecart, WooCommerce, as I mentioned, where you check out some things like that. So first things first, um, let's just say we're going to create it and it's going to be a thousand pound with product. We would come in here and we would say, either find the product, if you've already got it created, more than likely you haven't. So you'll just press add new product and then you'd give it a name. So I'm just going to put test payment link as my name. You can upload an image if you want to, you can put a description in here, just, um, if you want to as well. So I'm just going to put test description. Um, I will upload a random um, the logo. Let's have a look. Let me just upload a random image of me or an icon or something. Let's have a look. We'll just upload that just as a, so there's some sort of image so you can see what it means. And um, then you'd set your price. So here you can put like, it's a thousand pound, for instance. Um, or you might put in here, it's recurring. So it might be that it is a £37 a month membership, something like that, or every three months, etc. So this is where you would set them details. This custom bit here, this means you can make it more custom. So you might say every three months. You might say that it's every day you have to pay something. I can't think of any instance. You would do that. Um, but basically, that's how you would work in regards to that. So I'm just going to put one time and we'll just put a thousand pound and then you can see we're going to press add product so here we go so i've added product so you can see here where the test description goes so it can it goes underneath the price the title of it goes above the price and then the image that you uploaded goes here in the middle okay now you can adjust the quantity so you might say how many people can buy and things like that um, and on here as well you can put that you want to click their address so i would always click their address do you require their phone number and you need to limit the number of payments. And then under advanced options, you can add custom fields. You can tick to allow promotional codes. If you want people to be able to add promo codes, you would tick this box here. And you can change what their button says, book, donate, or pay. Okay? So once we've done that, when you go to after payment here, you can choose to either just show a confirmation page or redirect customers to a custom link of your choosing. So depending on what you want to do, will depend on what you do. And they've got this new option, which has come out recently, where you can create an invoice PDF. It does charge you extra, but it means they get a legitimate invoice instead of just a receipt, which some people might want. Um, so you can tick that box if you want that. And then next up, we're just going to press create link. And here you can see in create link. Now it's come up and it's telling us that we can do this. So if I copy this button and I just go, I'm going to go in a guest view, to be honest. Let's have a look. Let's just go into a guest view and pop this in, you can see exactly what it looks like. Now, this has all my branding pre-done. Um, so I'll, I'll do a video to show about the branding on Stripe, how you would change the branding settings. But as you can see, it's got my branding. They would put their details in. I would get a notification. It's one of the quickest and simplest ways of getting payments from customers. Um, but it's also one of the limited ones as well. Is in You can't do payment plans. It's a bit harder to automate things when you're using Stripe payment links as well. So I do encourage people to actually use checkout systems. But this is a quick way if you just need to get some payments on 
online and be able to have a link that people can click to buy now straight away. So hopefully you found what you'll sell. Any questions, please just ask away.